speech and debate is sort of a myriad of things, and it encompasses basically three main areas. One um, is, you know, kind of obvious in the name, public speaking, and so kids will write speeches or will develop speeches either on current events or on a topic that they choose, depending on which specific event they go into. Suffering is caused by desire. Our desire to help the people of Afghanistan achieve democracy has caused a tremendous amount of suffering on both sides already. Sending additional troops to Afghanistan is not in the United States' best interest, for we have nothing good to gain from it. If they want their freedom so badly, they should be fighting for it themselves, not relying on other nations to do it for them. Then there's, of course, the debate side of it. Um, there are several different types of debate, but the main idea of any debate is that you're trying to make an argument um, uh, about a topic, and the person on the other side is trying to make the exact opposite argument, and you're clashing and trying to convince a judge that you're on the right side of that argument. We're able to turn a significant amount of that population away from the Taliban and back towards the side of U.S., and, uh, so t towards the West, and towards stability. We have a much greater chance of finding him if he is indeed in that region. And then there's also interpretation events. And they're a lot more similar, say, to acting um, because they're based on the performance of a piece of literature that the kids choose. And so, for example, there's poetry, there's drama, there's humor, so there's different sections, and they can choose sort of what genre they want to do. We're the philosophy. Yeah. Philosophy. We're the philosophy. Like We're the philosophers. You are the philosophers, yeah, huh? Well, there's a reason I ended up at your table. Yes. All the Grand Valley schools are here. Uh, Montrose and Delta are here. Durango. Delta. Everywhere else. Central. All of you? Yeah. yeah. Central. Where you guys go to school at? Uh, Both at Ridgeway. Ridgeway High School. Ridgeway. Senior, senior junior. All right. What school are you guys from? Moffat County. Moffat County. Has it been as cold there as it has been here? <gasps> yeah. Really yeah. cold. Colder. You know, pretty much the whole the whole array of, of Western Slope schools. There's probably about uh, 120 kids, 125 kids in the building. This is a lovely thing to be okay. You get nervous and sometimes you can't tell if you're just really nervous and anxious or if you're really excited. Um, but that's kind of the beauty of it is that you've got that adrenaline and those nerves going at all times at a debate tournament. And so um, as much as it might seem like this is a really tame activity, you know, kids speaking really properly and professionally to one another, on the other hand, it's just as adrenaline filled and, and just as exciting for them as any athletic event is for an athlete. Um, you know, they've got to get pumped up to, to give a great speech. Um, and they're going to get disappointed if, if they feel like they didn't, you know. So, so it all really works the same kind of as sports in that way. And in a debate event, you're usually starting with a case that you've written, and that gives you a foundation. But you'll give two or three more speeches in that debate round, and those have to be off the cuff, and those have to be based on what the other person has brought up, and that's something that you can't always anticipate. Um, even in, in the performance events where these kids know their literature and they know, you know what they're doing, they still have to make game time decisions and they're still going to make mistakes and they're going to have to make up for those mistakes in some way. And uh, so a lot of it is off the cuff, but a lot of it is prepared as well. Today the pro team will show that we should affirm the resolution resolve President Obama's plan for increasing troops in Afghanistan is in the United States' best interest in three, in three key contentions. Contention one, success in Afghanistan is vital to key U.S. interests. Contention two, the troop increase plan will address immediate Afghan concerns. And contention three, that the troop increase plan will facil facilitate a sustainable long-term response. You say that this is going to be putting American lives at risk. Isn't ignoring terrorism also putting American lives at risk? 
You say that groups causing it, it, causing unrest will move into Pakistan and take over the government. Do you have any evidence for this claim? They're going to take over the Pakistan government. Uh, we don't have. There's no evidence to make it. Okay. Yeah, there's winners for certain categories. Um, we have ten different uh, events total and you compete throughout the day in that event. So it boils down to the 10 specific events and each kid can win in that. And then there's an overall team sweepstakes award and the teams, team? yeah, the, the teams will accumulate points by kids winning certain events and uh, the team with the most points gets, gets the first place trophy and gets to claim the bragging rights for that tournament.